Welcome. So we are about to start with the showcases of the project of the Sonar Innovation Challenge. So we have uh, five amazing projects that are going to be presented now. And we are going to start very fast. So this is the project made by the Rapid Mix Group. So I think Mike is going to introduce a bit the, the, the challenge. Go. Hello. Aha, uh -huh, here I am. Um, so very quickly, uh, I'm, I'm from Rapid Mix. I'm from Goldsmiths University of London. Um, Rapid Mix is all about sensors and machine learning and gesture recognition. And many of us come from a music background, like many of you. Um, but we were very interested in what we could do in the gaming realm. So we asked very broadly this group of really, really creative people to, um, to come up with a game or a game-like experience or an augmented game. Um, it was quite vague, actually, and, and they've, they've made something quite wonderful. So I'll just hand off to Tony to continue. Thank you. So uh, in order to approach this challenge, we uh, thought about creating a playful interactive experience uh, in which a player would be able to explore a virtual environment through their uh, gestures and uh, interacting with tangible objects. Uh, we set up a couple of scenes, and the way that the player interacts is through the, the gestures, which are analyzed in real time through a machine learning system that will uh, continuously uh, modify different uh, elements in the environment. Uh, would you like to explain the first scene? OK, so um, as they were explaining, um, basically our concepts that you can see on the screen, uh, since we were, I, uh, generally we were dealing with uh, brain waves and getting data from your body and things like that. So we had the concept of uh, looking inside of your brain as a virtual environment. So the environment that you're interacting with is uh, inside your brain. So it's somewhat of a surreal environment. And it's also mixing realities. Uh, we really liked the idea of having mixed realities as a new type of gaming environment. So this is the, the first scene that we created. And uh, what you do is you walk through the environment wearing the Oculus and you can navigate freely throughout the environment. And you also see some neurons that are floating around in space. And those are actually being controlled by your gestures on the Mayo armband. And you're also generating music with those gestures as well. Uh, we also use the RIOT sensors. And in order to incorporate this sort of mixed reality idea, uh, we decided to put them on uh, something that was rope light. So here we have a, a curtain, and we wanted something that would emulate uh, you touching the the dendrites of the of your own neurons. So you can uh, actually go up and uh, be walking around, and you'll see the neuron in front of you, and you can touch the curtain. And we have the sensors on them that will actually interact visually as well as uh, the sound that you're hearing. And the idea is to explore this environment, and then you'll arrive to a black hole at the end and uh, arrive to switch to a different scene. So with the Mayo, that is this sensor we have here, we were mapping the, the values that we are receiving that actually are accelero accelerometer, gyroscope, orientation, uh, EMG that is the values related to the muscles. So we have like eight values because the, the sensor, as you can see, it has all around the arm sensors, and so we have eight signals. So we pass all of these values into a machine learning system, and then the idea is that we can play the sounds, uh, uh, trigger different sounds, and also modify the sounds uh, like in time with it using machine learning. And this is what we are presenting right now. Yep, so we can do the demo. So actually there are right now two gestures. One is like playing with the dendrites and the other one is pulling them out. So th th this is what we are receiving now.
you see uh, the pink neurons that are in the environment, those are all being controlled by uh, the muscle sensor on the arm, the myocontroller. And it's a very slight movement, not too much, but on the giant neuron in the center, uh, we have also mapped motion so that when you make uh, the pulling on the curtain, you will also pull the, the dendrites on the neurons. Okay, so um, this was the first uh, scene. Uh, we also created a second scene because we uh, we were thinking about other ways to explore the virtual reality. Um, you know, sometimes we are just experiencing uh, virtual reality in just uh, the video game and you don't interact with anything. Uh, in this case, in the first scene, we're interacting with a tangible thing. Uh, but also we uh, thought that a very interesting way to approach virtual reality is a collaborative environment uh, where there is one person using the virtual uh, headset like uh, an Oculus and then there is another person who is facilitating the experience, right? So um, for this second scene we created um, this kind of uh, wall where, where there is uh, an ocean um, and there is a boat. So you want to first get the boat to come to you and then you jump into the boat and then you start like rowing. Uh, so for doing that, we created different gestures, like for example, in order to uh, get the boat come to you. Uh, I don't know if we can go to the scene where um, you make the gesture. Here. Here, if you jump closer. Okay, so <clears throat> imagine that you, you are just walking in a virtual reality environment and you uh, find in a virtual space like water and someone, someone tells you that you need to start like doing this gesture which we are recognizing with rapid mix. Uh, in the time that we are making this gesture and we see that this water, there is a person next to this uh, person who is using the virtual reality headset who is just uh, throwing water into the hand. So we are not just using uh, the, virtual, the virtual reality environment, but also we are using another uh, sensor, which will be uh, the water. Um, and then once we get the boat come to us, uh, we jump in this boat, and then we go to the other place of the ocean. And also when the person is rowing, we start like uh, also throwing water, but then also we start shaking that person. Um, we are not going to demo this, but you can um, you can see the demo later if you come to uh, our spot. But uh, basically, we're trying to uh, trick different sensors of our body, not just the visual, but also the uh, our body and and and, and with the things that we feel in order to have like a higher uh, sensation in this uh, virtual reality experience. So this is it. Thank you very much.